Hey guys, Cryptus here with just a small tutorial of how to use the Roth UI Diablo add-on that I've currently been using. I get a lot of messages asking about it and so I figured I would make a video to demonstrate how to set it up and showcase what it can do. When you first install the UI, I'll be honest, it's scattered and very messy looking, so you'll want to take a bit of time to get everything set up and organized before going into battle. Your cast bars will be located in the middle of the screen, your pet bars will be hidden off in the distance, and you won't know what's going on with everything else. But don't panic, here's how to get all that fixed. Uh, the first two things you need to do is get familiar with the help menu. This is brought up by typing either slash Diablo or slash Rabs. This will give a range of customizing options that you will need to do in order to get all your templates set up. So forward slash Diablo unlock units. This option allows you to rearrange templates such as your pet template, your target template, and as well as your target's focus template what they're actually targeting, your runes, and your health and resource orbs. Uh, slash, opening forward slash rabs unlock. Here is what is the option that allows you to modify and rearrange a variety of bars such as your pet bar, and your bags, your uh, action bars such as all these three action bars, your side action bars, your micro menu bar and also it gives you a chance to modify your casting bars right here because when you first start out your casting bars are just all over the place so you target his casting bar may be located completely in the wrong place so as you can see I have mine all organized and make it easier to read and reduce the chance of scattered clutter Moving on to the D forward slash Diablo config menu, which is what you see right here on the right hand side. We'll go from top to bottom explaining a bit about what these options can do. First, you can change the texture of your orbs. Let me show you a few examples. We have Earth, Radiant, Golf, uh, Marble. The same thing can be done with your resource bar. You can change that to a, all sorts of different things. All it does is change the visual looks of your orbs. So if you want to change that and just not make it look all just plain and bland, you can go ahead and do that here. And following that option, you can change the color of your health and resource orbs to whatever you want. So right here, let me show you a few examples. You can make it white, yellow, purple, whatever. Same thing could be done with your uh, the resource bar. Make it red, green, white. If you want the same color as your class that it comes with for as default, for example a rogue is yellow, warrior is red, mage is blue, you can click on the automatic coloring options which is, there you go, see now mine is set to that runic power color and the health is back to a red. See model animation, or model animation, uh, this option includes different animations for your orbs, it can be enabled or disabled if you don't want to use it. But here's some example just to give you an idea of what it can do. So we'll go ahead and switch this to maybe a soul shard, so you can see a little animation in there. That's different ones, soul harvest, maybe we can put a little icon in here. Yeah, there we go. Hammer of wrath. See here, and blue angel. See now you got a blue angel. Same thing can be done with your resource bar. We give this one soul harvest. So once you find the animation underneath, you can get the options uh, to change the transparencies, size scale, as well as positioning of your animation and rotation, followed by the zoom. So you can change the horizontal, the vertical axis, rotation. And then you can make it smaller, bigger. Go ahead and put that right there. You can change the transparency of it, and you can change the zoom, which you know doesn't really. I mean, you can customize it to whatever you want. If you don't want to use it, you can just disable it. And go ahead and move underneath the orb value and tag color. This option allows you to modify what you want to display in terms of the resource count for your orbs. So if you want a percentage, the full number count or whatever you want, you can also change the color of the text as well. So let me show you a few examples right here. So if you want a percentage, you can put in a percentage right here, 100%. If you want a numerical value, you can put your full numerical value. 
If you want it to be red, you can change it to red. This will control the bottom text. You can change that to green. You can make this maybe a maximum value, or make, put the percentage underneath. I have mine set on default. The same thing can be done with your resource. So, you know, let's go ahead and switch this one. Change it to blue and change this one to maybe, I don't know, teal. Maybe green. Yeah, we'll make it green. So, overall, that's pretty much it when it comes to the Roth Diablo UI. Once you have all your settings configured and you're ready to go, just reload the UI, which can be done by forward slash reload or you can hit the bottom button in the bottom right hand corner of the Diablo config panel which is right about here at that point you should be able to, you should be good to go and or make more modifications as needed I'll link the name as well as the site where I got the UI from in the description down below hope this video helps and once again thanks for watching